This video is sponsored by War Thunder. In 2021, the United States Air Force Chief of Staff announced the launch of a thorough study into the tactical aviation requirements of future service aircraft. The idea is that the service's top officer wants to develop an affordable, lightweight fighter to either partially or totally replace hundreds of Cold War-era F-16s, complementing the Air Force's small fleet of secret and costly stealth fighters. A month later, a group of aviation experts came up with a fictitious yet viable option, the F-36 Kingsnake Lightweight Fighter. Using the best technologies from other aircraft, as well as 3D printing, this novelty model could be the answer to the Air Force's budgeting problem. That is, if it even makes it to production. U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General C.Q. Brown shocked the world when he announced that the U.S. was in dire need of a new fighter. Details are still leaking out about the next-generation combat jet, and whether a prototype F-36 Kingsnake ever emerges remains to be seen. Many such experimental military vehicles have never seen service, but now you have the chance to experience how some of those would have fared in combat with War Thunder, the most complete vehicle combat game ever made. Click on the link in the description below and discover over 2,000 historically accurate aircraft, helicopters, ships, and tanks. Each vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, transporting you to a hundred colossal, highly realistic battles spanning from the 1920s to the end of the Cold War to today. War Thunder is free to play, and we couldn't believe the meticulous research and history incorporated from over a hundred years of military vehicle development. Click on the link below to experience it yourself. Joining more than 50 million players from all over the world in action-packed matches or in hyper-realistic and tactical combat. Users on PC, PlayStation, and both generations of Xbox can all play on the same servers. Click on the link below to start playing War Thunder for free. Take advantage of a free bonus for new users, including a premium tank, aircraft, and ship, as well as a seven-day account upgrade. See you in battle. Study. In early 2021, the United States Air Force began to look for an alternative jet design to replace the iconic General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. The multi-role fighter aircraft, first introduced in August 1978, is currently the backbone of the tactical fleet. Speaking to the Defense Writers Group on February 18, 2021, United States Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. announced that the service is launching a months-long study on the USAF's future mix of tactical aircraft. Joined by the Department of Defense's Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation, this Tactical Aircraft Study, or TAC-AIR, will help the service assess the optimum balance for its tactical fighter force, including fifth-generation fighters, but also a low-cost aircraft for low-end fights. The study may even result in a completely new aircraft explicitly built to fill that void. According to General Brown, quote, I want to entertain a clean sheet design of something that's not necessarily fourth gen, but may not necessarily be complete fifth gen either. You've also got to take a look. There's some other low-end type things that aren't the high-end fight, and we need to have the right force mix. This is why I want to do a tack air study. So at lower end, 4.5 or 5th gen minus, what capability do I need? Then how many of them do I need? According to General Brown, while the new model would share some capabilities with the F-16, it is expected to be faster, perhaps with supercruise capabilities and more digitally inclined. Brown also explained that the aircraft would be built based on the lessons learned in digital engineering from other programs and studies. In his closing statement, General Brown also stressed that the study would be based solely on facts, not opinions, to ensure the service gets the correct answers for the Air Force's future. F-35 The new clean-sheet aircraft design could potentially threaten the Air Force's long-held plans to buy 1,763 models of the existing Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. 
A single-engine, all-weather, multi-role combat aircraft with stealth capabilities, the F-35 is built to perform air superiority and strike missions, while also providing electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance features. While its development was mainly funded by the United States, several NATO partner countries such as the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, the Netherlands, and others also contributed with funds. In the United States, the type entered service with the Marine Corps in July of 2015, followed by the Air Force in August of 2016 and the Navy in February of 2019. It is projected to operate until 2070. Originally intended as the F-16 successor, the Lightning II program has drawn public criticism for its size, complexity, delayed deliveries, and ever-rising costs. The aircraft's acquisition, while it was still in its development and testing phases, led to expensive design changes and retrofits, and numerous technical flaws are still being corrected today. In its 2021 annual report, the Pentagon's Operational Test and Evaluation Director stated that the F-35 program continued to field immature, deficient, and insufficiently tested features throughout the year. While the initial program began in 2001, cost overruns had pushed the F-35's total lifetime cost to a whopping $1.5 trillion by 2017, including operations and maintenance. With a hefty price tag, and inferior to its predecessor in more ways than one, the F-35's future in the American Armed Forces may be hanging by a thread, and the type can hardly replace the entire F-16 in the short term. Instead, Air Force experts want to begin mass production of an aircraft that is cheaper, quick to design, and that relies on simpler construction techniques. The Kingsnake A month after General Brown's announcement, Alternative Aviation Magazine Hush Kit gathered a group of experts to create a fantasy jet with real potential to become a partial or total replacement for the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The result was the F-36 Kingsnake. In a lengthy publication, aviation authorities Stephen McParlane and James Smith, part of the development teams of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and Eurofighter Typhoon, were joined by illustrator Andy Godfrey to create the detailed concept art and description of an ideal aircraft that fulfilled the TAC air study requirements. A lightweight fighter, the King Snake is named after a type of North American snake that has a habit of eating other snakes. The thorough breakdown suggests a simple fuselage and cranked aero delta wing based on the F-16 XL, a fighting Falcon derivative, and the entry for the USAF's Enhanced Tactical Fighter competition, which lost to the F-15E Strike Eagle. The publication also suggests that the King Snake will be developed using existing technologies, components, and even 3D printing to accelerate the manufacturing process without the need to completely redesign the engine. One such idea is to use the F-119 turbofan engine of the F-22 Raptor to reach Mach 2. The aircraft could also potentially use the same active electronically scanned array radar used by the latest version of the Fighting Falcon. Like the aircraft before it, the F-36 will be a multi-role fighter that can perform air-to-air, air-to-ground, and air-to-surface missions, and will be equipped with a sizable internal weapons bay. As a fighter that does not solely focus on having stealth abilities, the F-36 will also have hard points to carry an extra load under the wings. In addition, to top the weaponry aboard the King Snake, the F-36 might be installed with an M61 Vulcan mounted in the starboard wing route to carry out airstrikes on enemy ground targets. In accordance with the financial capacity and the continuous ability to be upgraded with new technologies in the future, the philosophy of the potential F-36 program is rapid development. Priorities As of mid-2022, there is no clear timeline for any prototype or demonstrator for the TAC air study. Still, as aviation history suggests, a finished model similar to the F-36 Kingsnake design could potentially come out in only a handful of years. In 2020, the Air Force admitted to having designed and built a secret sixth-generation fighter jet in just one year, a staggeringly short amount of time by modern standards and a stark contrast to the slow F-35 development. Under the service's Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program, 
the Air Force aimed to build a jet to supplement or even replace the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor stealth tactical fighter. According to the Air Force, the secret and highly classified fighter has already flown and broken records. While some sources report that some of the NGAD program's features will reportedly be present in the TAC Air program, General Brown claims that the current focus of the study is modeling, simulation, and analysis. The U.S. Air Force top brass expects to begin making formal decisions about the program and internal decisions for the force mix recommendations by their fiscal year 2023 budget request. Thanks for watching, and thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring our video and offering our Dark Tech viewers this exclusive offer. Don't wait to click on the link in the description below and take advantage of the free bonus for new players. Click now and receive a free premium tank, aircraft, and ship as well as a seven-day account upgrade.